guys, I'm back with another dip powder mini. So before we get started, I do have on Luxie Nail Builder Gel. So I started off with the rubber base coat, then applied the Builder Gel with the Luxie Nail Builder Gel brush I got from the site, and the Luxie Nail No White Top Coat. All three of those products are HEMA free. And I do have on one coat of Hollow Taco Pilly Base. And um, we're gonna use this pastel set that I got from the Luxie Nail Shop on Etsy. It's a total of five colors. These are all sample size jars. Here's a picture of those colors. This picture is actually from the Luxie Nail um, Shop on Etsy.com. And so again, that set came with the blue, the pastel purple, pastel pink, pastel yellow, and the Easter egg, which has little, um, almost looks like confetti. I'm not sure what type of pieces they are in the dip powder. So I decided to use the pastel pink and the yellow along with the Easter egg. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will also be using the Luxie Nail base. And um, for these, since these are sample size jars, I am going to be putting these in disposable dip powder trays um and i got these off amazon i wouldn't recommend purchasing these they are it came in i think a 50 and they were all stacked together and i could not pull those little boogers apart for no reason it was so hard so i wouldn't recommend buying those so i'm going to go in with my normal dip application and i will chime in from time to time so hang out with me guys And I'm just using a water marbling tool. You don't have to have a water marbling tool. You can use a toothpick or an orange wood stick um, just to run along your cuticle, just to remove any excess dip powder that may be um, in, in the cuticle area on your skin. So I'm just going in with my second application, but before you do that, you do want to use a brush to brush off excess dip powder. And before I stick the base brush back into the bottle, I'm going to wipe it on a lint-free wipe in, uh, in hopes to prevent contaminating my base. And I'm just laying my finger flat again, um, because this is a disposable tray. Some people still dip, will just, you know, stick their finger in, but I think these are more so for French, uh, a French dip powder manicure. So I'm just laying my finger flat. I found that that works just as, just as good. So for those of you that are new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Tish. I am not a nail technician, I am a nurse who loves to do her nails at home. And for those of you that are um, not new, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for hanging in there with me, I really appreciate you guys. For those that are return um, viewers or new viewers, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so when I dumped the Easter egg powder out of the jar, it just came out in one big clump. thought that was a little weird, but needless to say, I just took my water marbling tool and kind of stirred that up um, as best as I could to loosen up those powders. And I wonder if it's because it was so many um, of those confetti-like pieces in there. I'm not sure what the material is um, in that dip powder. So with this application, 
I started off with uh, my middle finger and I laid that flat and it got, I had to end up with a lot of the chunkier pieces on the left side of that nail. Um, and so when I got to my index finger, you'll see I pour it over to get a better application. And you see how many, it's a lot of, that dipped, picked up a lot of pieces um, there. And it was kind of, it was a little chunky, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Um, this is my first time using this particular dip powder. So you can see a lot of the, the pieces are on the left side of that nail. And I'm just patting that down to try to keep those as flat as possible. So for my index finger, I was like, let me try something different. So I poured a little bit of the powder back into the jar, stirred that around because um, it poured in there chunky. Again, I think it's because there's so many pieces in there and I'm not mad at it. Um, so I'm just uh, applying my base and then I'm going to pour the dip powder over my nails. Now by doing this, I got a little better application, um, but I didn't get as many of the the confetti-like pieces or the Easter egg pieces in there. Um, you can see it looks way better than the middle finger, but here again, I didn't get a whole lot of pieces in here. So I'm just brushing off excess dip powder. Lux Nail Liquids, if you apply them pretty thin, they dry pretty quickly, I must say, um, which I'm not mad at that. Um, the liquids can be a bit runny if you overload your brush. If you don't overload your brush, you should have a good thin application. So um, I'm just going in with my second coat and this time with my index finger, I'm going to lay my finger flat and I end up picking up a good amount of the pieces in the Easter egg dip powder and I liked it. No issues whatsoever. They picked up nice. Um, I'm, again, I'm pressing them down and for my um, middle finger, I'm just going to apply the dip liquid or the base on the part of the nail that I don't have as many of the uh, Easter egg pieces um, of that dip powder on my nail. That way I don't end up with a whole lot more on that left side. I'm just, I just want to get the main pieces that are um, missing, if that makes any sense. So I went in and encapsulated and clear off camera and I'm just taking my uh, nail brush, brushing that off. Once I do that, I'm then going to go in with a toothbrush. Now, most most times I use a toothbrush throughout my mani. I've been doing this since I started dipping. Sometimes I use a brush. A lot of times I will use a, um, that's a medium bristle toothbrush, by the way. Um, and I use that to... Um, after I encapsulate and clear and so I'm just going in and applying two coats of activator to each nail and you want to make sure that you dip your brush back into the activator bottle after each um, nail um, because you want to get all that liquid on there and usually I would wipe my activator brush back on a lint-free wipe or paper towel before I stick it back in there um, just to avoid um, contaminating the color but I have clear on so with the magic of video I have done my fouling and buffing um, off camera and here's that look so I'm gonna go in with my Luxie nail rubber base coat and top coat and I'm just applying some rhinestones to my ring finger um, this is a pastel set that I got off of um, Amazon
So after I applied the rhinestones, I cured for 60 seconds with the rubber base coat on. And so I'm just applying the rubber base coat to the rest of my nails, cure for 60 seconds, and then I'm gonna go in and apply the Luxe Nail No Wipe Top Coat and cure for 60 seconds. These are not HEMA free. Um, by the way so I don't know if people are looking for hemo free or those with gel allergies I don't know um, but I've had these and so I like them they are high shine um, really don't have any issues with the rubber base or um, the top coat So again, I cured with the base and applied the top coat and cured. And here's the finished look. Um, I hope you guys like it. I thought it was really cute. And um, it wasn't too much over the top, um, even though I did add rhinestones because I want to be extra. But after your nails cool off, you do want to apply your favorite cuticle oil to rehydrate the skin around your nails. Um, usually I would put on some lotion because by the time you do all that fouling and buffing, my hands look like leather. They dusty and they just look terrible. Um, I already have old people hands but um anyway i digress but anyway you want to massage your cuticle oil in i i hope you guys like the look you have to let me know what you think please like comment share and or subscribe to my channel i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you next week thanks for watching